Hello all and welcome back. In this session, we'll continue looking at the life of Paul, starting with his conversion on the road to Damascus. Paul's dramatic conversion, written about in Acts 9, is the catalyst for his faith journey following the gospel of Christ. Before he left Jerusalem to travel to Damascus, Paul was intent on hunting down Jesus' disciples. His only aim in traveling there was to arrest any of Jesus' followers and bring them back to Jerusalem. Paul would soon find out that he would not be returning to Jerusalem for quite some time, and only then with a completely different perspective. Let's take a look at the moment when Jesus stops Paul, then named Saul, in his very tracks. In Acts 9, verses 3 to 6, we read, And as he was approaching Damascus on this mission, a light from heaven suddenly shone down around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. And the voice replied, I am Jesus the one you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. Paul was transformed and converted through this encounter with Jesus. He went from persecuting the church to being devoted to it. Our encounters with Jesus also have the ability to transform our lives. The key is to be willing to recognize him as the Lord, to be humble before him, and to become his disciple, just as Paul did. God can then lead us into new paths and understandings through our encounters with him. A major component of following God's call is trusting him. Paul's trust in Jesus was immediate because when he rose from the ground after hearing Jesus' voice, he realized he couldn't see. His blindness continued for three days, and the only thing he could depend on was what God showed him in a vision when he reached Damascus. A man named Ananias would come and give his sight back. Ananias, also a disciple of Christ, was called by God to go and restore Paul's sight and to baptize him. Even though he knew what Paul's reputation was as a Pharisee who persecuted Christians, Ananias was willing to go because God showed him that he had chosen Paul to spread the gospel. As a disciple of Christ, Ananias also trusted God and followed his instruction readily, even to the point of addressing Paul as Brother Saul. After Ananias restored Paul's sight, Paul spent time with the disciples in Damascus and preached about Christ in the synagogues. People who witnessed his profession of Christ were amazed. They didn't understand how Paul could have changed so dramatically from his days of persecuting Christians. Seeing the people's confusion only pushed him to more strongly profess and share his testimony to prove that Jesus is the Christ. God used the best and the worst parts of Paul's personal history to shape him into the servant he was called to be. Can he also do the same for us? We don't have to be, in quotes, perfect in order to serve the purposes that God has for our lives. We only have to accept that he has a plan for us and then be committed to serving him through fulfilling that purpose. Another aspect of Paul's testifying and sharing Christ with all people was his commitment to preaching the true gospel. How did Paul know he was preaching the true gospel? In Galatians 1 verse 12, he says, For I neither received from man, nor was I taught it, but it came through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Paul's knowledge of the gospel, the good news of salvation through Christ, was firsthand. 
He had experienced the grace and saving power of Christ. And that's what the gospel is all about. As part of our calling as Christians, we serve others through our testimony of Christ. While we can always learn more about the Bible and the strength and hope found there, our strongest profession of God is in sharing how he is present and active in our individual lives and how his son has saved us personally. Paul knew his story of transformation was meant to be shared with others so they could hear of Christ's power. Our stories are also meant to be shared. Paul also served with other faithful missionaries in a true sense of shared leadership. We can recount how he served along Barnabas in the city of Antioch. Barnabas was a great testifier and encourager of the faith, while Paul was a gifted preacher and teacher of the scriptures and the gospel. Through his missionary journeys, he served along with many others as he sought to recognize God's gifts in all. Paul was called to serve many people in many regions, and we'll hear a little about his missionary trips in the next small group session. However, we must always keep in mind the focus of his travels, to serve God and spread the gospel of Christ. In all that we do in this life, let us also remember our calling to serve and share the Lord with others.